Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Felix, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And wow, I got some good news from you, my friend. And let's take a look at what you said. And you are, you've been one of my students now for the last few months. And I am so happy to get your message that you posted at my website. And it says here, Dear Michael and Luis. Now, Luis is my TOEFL writing specialist. He's the one who's been grading all of your writing practice tests. And I am your TOEFL speaking specialist. I'm also, as I just said, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for this entire course. And you wrote a very, very nice, very nice comment. You say, words can't describe how happy I was when I saw my TOEFL score. I was very nervous when ETS mailed me to tell me my TOEFL score. My hard work has been paid off after seeing my score. I tried really hard and struggled a lot by taking the test three times. I got 71 two years ago, 78 one year ago, and now I got 97 for my TOEFL score with 24 in the reading, 21 in the listening, 23 in the speaking, and 29 on the writing. My oh my, what's, what good improvement for you? So you went from 71 to 78, and then you got a 97. That is terrific. Felix. Good for you. Good for you. You say, even though my listening could have been higher than that, I'm really happy with my improvement. I don't think I would be able to do this without your help. Furthermore, I have also been directly accepted to Langara College in Vancouver, Canada, to pursue my computer science degree in Canada. For Michael, thank you for being a passionate English teacher to me. You were always there to answer my questions through emails and Voxipop, and I always found your answer helpful to improve my TOEFL score. Your advice and suggestion were very important in improving my scores, such as making note cards, to study vocabulary, reading 45 minutes a day, even though I miss it sometimes. Hey, nobody's perfect. You say, moreover, thank you also for grading and revising my speaking practice tests in Voxipop. I was able to increase my score from 19 to 23. And guess what? Uh, I just double-checked. You know what we did over the last few months, Felix? You posted, and I gave you feedback, on 129 speaking practice tests over the last few months. So you worked very hard, and uh, you, you, I just got to tell you, you're probably one of the most memorable students I have ever taught online, and I'm so happy to hear about your success. You say for Luis. And by the way, I will make sure Luis gets this video here. I can't thank you enough for helping me to improve my writing score by grading each of my writing practice tests that I submitted to you every day. I really appreciate all of your work and some of your feedback during the practice. Now you see, I have got 29 out of 30, which is unbelievable and almost impossible to me at that time. With your help, you made everything possible, and I can't describe my happiness in this email. Thank you so much. Now, I wish both of you have great health and success in your entire life and career. Being one of your online students is one of the best experiences I have ever had in my life. Thank you. I hope with this score I can be your New Year's gift, which you mentioned on your video to me several weeks ago. Uh, thank you once again to both of you. I'm honored to be one of your students. Warm regards. All right, so let's take a look at what you have. And by the way, let's go back to that. This is exactly a terrific New Year's gift that you could give me because the teacher gets no greater happiness from student success. That's it. We don't make a lot of money teaching TOEFL online. So the, the, the payback, the enjoyment is to hear from someone like you to see your progress and your success 
And this is exactly, Felix, this is a terrific New Year's gift to me. All right, let's take a look at what you did. So you took the TOEFL back in 2013, and it looks like you scored 71. So you had 15 on the reading, you had 14 on the listening, you had 20 points on the writing. Actually, you had 20 points in the speaking and 22 points on the writing. And then from there, you took the TOEFL test again in 2014. You did much better in the reading. You got 21 points. Then you have 16 points in the listening, 19 points in the speaking, and 22 points in the writing. And wow, you made a lot of improvements on this most recent test in the writing. That is incredible. Absolutely. So uh, on your, your, your most recent TOEFL test, you got 97, as you say here. So you got 24 points on the reading. You have 21 points in the listening, 23 points in the speaking, and you have 29 points on the writing. Now, here's another question. So, um, I mean, I don't have to ask you this question, but there might be someone watching this video. I don't want anybody to watch this video and to think for a minute that you can improve your TOEFL from 78 to 97 without working, because that's false. You got to work hard. You got to work hard on a day to day basis. And even when you're getting tired, you still have to work hard. Now, Felix, if I remember correctly, because you send me an email every time you take an independent or integrated writing practice test, I'm guessing that you probably posted or completed anywhere from 40 to 60 writing practice tests over just a period of a few months. Am I right? So you did 129 speaking practice tests. You probably posted about the, almost the same number with your writing, and you improved. So even when you didn't think you were going to be any better, you kept practicing the writing. This is a very good testimony to anyone out there who's trying to improve their writing skills. The main thing is, is right. Start writing on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe you can write in a journal. You might write a letter to a friend. Or like Felix here, you start completing writing practice tests. You get feedback from a TOEFL writing specialist. You make some changes. You review some lessons. You complete another practice test. And on and on and on it goes. And after a few months, like, like yourself, Felix, your writing gets better. All right, Felix. So anyway, um, I want to say congratulations. Uh, I will miss you. I will miss you as a student. I can say I'll be a lot less busy now because you're not one of my students because you worked me really hard, but it was a good thing. So I'll miss hearing your speaking practice test over at my Voxipop discussion group. I'll miss the emails that you've sent. But keep in touch from time to time as you as you attend your university up in Canada maybe when you graduate and get your degree just send me a quick email and let me know and just kind of remind me say hey Michael I was one of your online students and I just completed my BA degree in Canada and I think you know what I think you're going to be very very successful in your university experience I think you will be successful in your personal relationships with other people. You know what, Felix? I think you're going to be successful in your professional relationships, too, because you got it. You got the hard work. You got the motivation. You have a very powerful type charisma in your personality, and you know how to affect people for the better. All right, so in conclusion to this particular video, congratulations. One more time, buddy. You did it, and this is incredible, so thank you for your messages and for you being such a great student.